Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. Today's video is a quick overview of phasers, which is used extens extensively in uh, electrical circuits. So let's say we have a, a, a voltage signal that changes with time, which is written as the peak of the voltage value times the cosine of 2 pi times f times t th plus theta v. Theta v is the phase angle of voltage, t is time, f is frequency in hertz. So this is a sinusoidal signal. The RMS value of the voltage is the peak value of the voltage or max value of the voltage divided by the square root of 2. And this is only valid for sinusoidal vo uh, voltages. If it's not a sinusoidal voltage, you cannot use this uh, equation. RMS is just root mean square. So we can write the voltage now, the, the voltage in the exponential format, which is the RMS value of the voltage times the e to the power of j theta. We can also write it in the polar format, which is the RMS value of the voltage and the angle of the voltage, or in rectangular form, which is the RMS value of the voltage times the cosine of 2 pi times f times t plus theta v plus j times the RMS value of the voltage times sine of the quantity 2 pi times f times t plus theta v. So note, in AC circuits, the subscript RMS is usually dropped. So if you don't see RMS, assume it's RMS. So then we can do the same thing for the current. So if we have a, a sinusoidal current that changes with, with time, so we can write it as the max value of the current times the cosine 2 pi f t plus theta i, or the angle of the current. And the same thing, the RMS value of the current is equal to the peak value of the current divided by the square root of 2. And this is only valid for sinusoidal currents. You cannot use this equation for non-sinusoidal currents. So then we can write the current in the exponential format, which is the RMS value of the current times e to the power of j theta. We can also write it in the polar format, which is the RMS value of the current and the angle, or in the rectangular format, which is the RMS value of the current times cosine quantity 2 pi times the frequency times time plus theta plus j times the RMS value of the current times sine of the quantity 2 pi times frequency times time plus theta. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to Engineering Simple to receive more videos. For questions, email me at engineeringsimpleyt at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good day.